Ladies and gentlemen, it is a terrifying experience and pleasure to be with you tonight. About two weeks ago, I found myself in a situation that I couldn't get out of. There I was in TMA 150, and Brother Allred was taking down names of people who the class wanted to speak at today's showcase. I remember when my name was called, and I remember that horrible feeling that one gets when they're standing in front of a bunch of people like I am right now. And then from every moment that I thought of this point in time, I'd be speaking to you today, I couldn't help but feel a pit in my stomach, my heart would race, and uh, my throat would get incredibly dry. Well, it turns out that I absolutely dread public speaking. Now, some may fear going to the dentist, others may fear um, heights or, or uh, even dying. At times, I feel like I fear that more than everything. Now, before you go on thinking like this is some bad introduction to a really bad second talk, <laughs> please think again. Um, what I'm speaking on today is actually rising up to the challenges that we all face in our lives and not running away from them. Challenges, in a way, are kind of like dogs, if you think about it. You know, if you run away from the dog, a dog will chase you. But if you turn and chase the dog, the dog will run away. It's kind of interesting. Our challenges are much the same way. Let me tell you a story about a man born in 1881 um, to a very wealthy family. He was the only child, and many thought that his life was absolutely perfect. He had the very finest education, married well, had a wonderful family. But in 1921, August 10th, he was vacationing with his family off the coast of Maine on the island of Campo, Cam Campo Bella, when all of a sudden he began to feel incredibly <coughs> weak in his stomach. He was uh, admitted to the hospital. And two days later, he could no longer move his legs. He was later diagnosed with polio, and at an early age of 39, he, could, he was crippled, essentially. Now, what would any of us do in that situation? be tough for any of us. Would it be a success story if I told you that this man was able to support his family for the rest of his life? Would it be the same if I told you that he was also able to uh, help others overcome the same situation that he was in? Would you believe me if I told you that this man was actually the President of the United States of America? His name is actually Franklin D. Roosevelt. His burial some 68 years ago today was a life worth remembering. Why? Because he faced up to life's challenges instead of running away from them. What are the challenges that you all face? We all face them. Do we make excuses as we move through life? Or do we rise up and face them head on? Let me throw out a couple of names for you. Martin Luther King, Jesse Owens, Founding fathers, Abraham Lincoln, even Jesus Christ. Think of the challenges that they passed through. How did they face them? They didn't, they didn't overcome their challenges by winning the lottery, per se, but they faced them head on. Their secret? They practiced instead of procrastinating. They worked instead of worrying. And they lived instead of dreaming. Ladies and gentlemen, if we do not live our lives like that, then we will forever fret over what we could have done instead of, for, instead of relishing over what we did. That's why I chose to speak to you today. It's a challenge of mine, and I believe that's all what we all should do. Thank you.